Use them all up. And it opened. Oh my god. The door. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox video. Hope you guys are going to be fantastic. Ready for another action pack feel. Today, I am super, super excited because we are going to get the golden, well, probably not the golden Dominus, just because somebody else has already got it. But we're going to be getting the golden wings today for sure, and I am extremely excited. We're going to be going through how to get all eight of the fragments. I'm probably going to be doing two parts of this video. This one is going to be doing all of the fragments. It's going to be super easy, super quick, and if you guys are looking to speed run through uh, getting the wings, this is the video for it. I've got some notes and stuff up on my other screen right now, so I will be kind of flipping back and forth between other people's videos and my video. My goal today is obviously to get it for my account, but to take everybody's video, because I know some people did 27 minute videos on just tiny, tiny sections. So I want to take all the useful information pack into short time and have you guys be able to pound through this event as fast as possible I don't want you guys having to skip through an hour and a half worth of content just to find the fragment we're gonna go we're gonna do it quick let's hop into egg hunt 2018 and get this hunt started so we're in the first map right now or we're in the map I guess we got to go so go up to this right now First thing you gotta go is to the Easter Bunny canals, apparently. Like I said, I've never done any of this, so this is gonna be, as I'm doing this, I'm also reacting to it and trying to inform you guys. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a challenge I gotta do. Hey, I think I see it, it's right up there. All right, we're getting close. Apparently once we get there, we gotta either type in a code or we gotta go searching for a code. And it's totally dependent on if there's a zero on the number pad. So essentially, if you get this one right here with the zero on the number pad, obviously I can click in, you get the zero there. Apparently you can, you can either leave the lobby and try to type in 586 if you join another server and there's no zero if there's just the green and the red sitting side by side. But but if you get the zero like I did, you actually have to go to another place. Hold on, where? It's the ruins of Wukong, just like that. And we've got to find the code inside that. So apparently, we go to the Wukong. We got to look for a temple and then go to the bottom of the temple. All right, so temple off in the... Oh, God, are you kidding me? I was just saying temple off in the distance. This should be easy as we fall off the freaking cliff. Like I said, it's a good thing I'm a parkour master, though, because I made it back up here very, very fast. All right, now we're going to look for the basement in the temple. And yes, I will be going and getting all of those smaller eggs and stuff very, very soon. I believe it's just their currency. But here we go. If you come over to this side, you can run down to the bottom. And once you get down here, apparently you turn right and keep going to the bottom. And just like that, you see a little statue. So we are going to grab this. Apparently, there's going to be a little bit of a code or something that's on the wall. So we're going to look for that. And if you die, you start over. It's really no big deal. All right, grab it here. Start running. Start running. We're rolling as far as we can. As far as we can. Oh, the code is right there. The Oh, man. All right, here we go. We're going to be very, very fast about this. We're going to roll. We've got a code 68429. 68429. All right, we got up. Oh, I picked it up. I picked it up. Grab it. Grab it. I got to make sure I don't fall. If you fall, you end up losing a bunch. Well, you don't lose it, but you do actually uh, drop this thing and then you're going to have to pick it up again. I don't remember what the code is. I will be honest. I'm going to have to go and look back in the recording. Oh, nope, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling like the ball. I love how I'm making jokes. I'm cracking jokes literally as I'm running away. Indiana Jones style. This is nuts. How close are we? We gotta be close. We gotta be close. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the ball? How oh, did we lose it? No, it's right there. It's right there. Hey! And just like that, this thing is out. We're holding the statue still. And it looks like we might actually have this first fragment in the bag. All right, so once you get to the end, climb through this little river here. I found an idle egg, which is pretty cool. 68429. I'll show you guys where this thing is. I believe if you spawn inside the Easterberry Canals once again, jump over here and then come to the left side. And I believe I remember last time that it's kind of over here. It's over on this side of the map. And oh yeah, so right there it is straight ahead. Obviously the spawn is right back there. So just keep running in this corner. And what do we need? 68429. Oh, I am excited. Excited to get the first fragment. Six, eight, four, uh, two, and then nine. Is that a nine? Is that a nine? All right. Six, eight, four, two, nine. Six, eight, four, two, nine. We're going to hit the green. Let's see if we get something. Okay. 
Okay, it was green. All right, so apparently you got to run back over to the spawn-ish section. You got to look for a bit of a water wheel. And apparently there's something on top of the water wheel, I was told. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to be, though. Ah, I see it. I see it. We almost missed it. All right, over here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't gotten the parkour in this yet, de whoa, that thing just launched us. All right, so obviously we could go extremely high if we wanted to, but there it is. We're going to jump over to the edge right there, quickly grab this thing, and just like that, we've got the first fragment for the Golden Dominus. Oh, I'm excited. It's been a long time in the making uh, to trying to complete this event, and today we're gonna get it done. All right, so the second one, you gotta go to the subway. Now, I'm not exactly sure where that is. Uh, it's gotta be the hard-boiled city. So hard-boiled city into the subway, and we've gotta take a bit of a train somewhere. All right, so you spawn right here in this rainy city, and I believe you just gotta run around the backside like this and look for a little underground section with a subway. And this looks to be it right there. So you drop down, and we've gotta go to... To... All right, you got to go to the Capon Yards, I'm pretty sure. All right, so you come over here once you're at Capon, and apparently you got to run all the way to the edge here. You see a bit of an arcade or something over here? I'm not sure. Come on, show me an arcade. And just like that, if you come up here, you see the Egg Society. And, oh, we're going to grab this. I actually thought that was a fragment for a sec. But no, the fragment is is it upstairs all right i found it so you jump on top of the arcade jump onto the back and you can see the one window that's lit up is actually hollow and just like that inside here is the second fragment oh man there's people up here too but like i said for the easter event here all oh, we're getting excited two out of four two out of four two out of eight i mean to say we're getting close, though. I'll look for the next one. All right, so you come to this one here. I'll check exactly the under nest, apparently it's called. You gotta look for a ladder. There's a ladder right at the beginning of the map here. Hey, and just like that, there's a ladder with massive arrows pointing towards it. All right, that literally couldn't be more obvious. But I appreciate all the effort in adding all that stuff. So climb up to the top. Once you get up here, you need to parkour your way up these little lanterns here. Now, I don't know really what these are called. There's skeletons and stuff all over the place. Once you get up to the top, grab the zip line and zip line all the way down to the other side. And we need to make our way to like a middle section, I was told. Come down here. Keep running all the way through. Another zip line will meet you. All the way to the edge is a third one. I like to stop and make sure I'm fully on the edge because I heard some people were actually glitching off these things. So I do try to get as lined up as possible beforehand. All right, so we're here. And if you guys, for a little point of reference, there's a crayon, I believe, right... Boom, right there. So I don't actually know what the crayons are used for. I believe there's one on every map. But I'll show you guys a quick little landmark to go by. So when you guys are coming down the zip lines, go to the point where you have to jump off. This uh, one right here is the first one where you have to actually jump off the first zip line onto the second one. So instead of jumping off onto the second one, I jumped straight and dove. I jumped right off the end and dove and made it basically just over here. So like I said, uh, it would take you down there, but essentially you need to kind of come to this little shoulder section. Hopefully I'm explaining it decent. Once you're here, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do this or not. I should maybe try to get a little bit higher. But you got to get to that little... Oh, I made it! Okay, there we go. So you got to make it to this one here. Once you're here, we got to try to make it to the highest one, I believe, somehow. Holy crap, we found it! No way! Okay, that took way too long. But here, I'll show you guys exactly how it did. And I did it without an umbrella, too, which actually makes me really, really excited. So like I said... Once you're coming down, the first one right there. So this guy's going to do it here. Instead of transferring... Oh, never mind. They're coming over here. But instead of going down... Oh, you guys can see that. That guy kind of did it. But instead of landing back on the second zip line there, jump all the way onto that shoulder. Once you're there, jump onto the first one right there. I came across to that one, I believe. Jumped to that one, which is a little bit higher. And then once I was there, I jumped to the big one here. I wish I could show you guys a little bit more of a landmark here. But that is it for this one. We on what? The second, third one? On to the next one, though. All right, so next you come to the Wonderland Grove map. We hop in. There is the spawn right down there. Start walking, and apparently we've got to look for a bit of a maze we got to go through. All right, hold on. This way, that way. There's so many different sides telling me to go everywhere, but I believe this might be the location. All right, I found it. So there's the maze there. The spawn is just over there. So come out of the spawn, turn left, and keep running in this direction until you see this massive square-looking green. Well, you guys can kind of see it. They look like massive hedges. It literally looks like a maze. Now, when you 
come in here, I believe you have to follow the little blood trail right here. So I see a little blood stain right there. We keep going. There is another one right there. Every time there's a fork in the road, it kind of lets you know where you need to go. Once you come to the section with the little uh thing here, jump through the little hoop, keep running, and you come to a massive room with uh, croquet, it actually is. All right, I've got the calculator up on my phone right now, and essentially we need to count all of the red cards. Now, if you get a jack, it's worth 11, queen is worth 12, king is worth 13, and I don't know what aces are worth, actually. I don't know if there is any aces, but essentially, go add up all of these different numbers here, and then uh, I'll meet you guys at the end. All right, so once you count it up, I end up getting 155. Go to a decimal to binary converter, it's called. It's a little program. There's tons of them that you can Google. Basically, put your number in there, so and you get a number back. The number is only going to be ones and zeros, because that's what binary is. So essentially, my 155, when it was broken down into binary is one zero zero one one zero one one so now you got to come out make your way out of the maze basically following the same path that you went in and or the blood trails I believe you got to come to the right yes okay so there's some carrots right here and with this first row of carrots you have to type in your binary code so like i said it's only going to be ones and zeros two different states right there's off and on one and zero same with here, we've got one or we've got a zero, right? So you gotta type in your uh, your code here. So obviously one right there. All right, so essentially I believe my number only had eight. Yes, and there's nine slots over here. If you only have eight numbers in your binary code, add a zero to the front of it. That's what I was told. Oh, I just actually turned that one off. But it's zero, obviously the zero that I added, but the code is one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, obviously. Like I said, one being on, zero being like in the ground still. Once you fill that out in the first row only, I believe, you come around the back of the house here, look for a cave, and on top of this massive carrot should be like that our next fragment. Oh, man. Just like that, we are halfway done, ladies and gentlemen. Four out of eight fragments. All right, so once you guys are back inside the ruins of Wukong, walk across this bridge to the temple to where you see this totem pole. Now, for this one, I'm going to have to turn up the sounds a little bit for you guys. Hopefully, it's not too loud. But essentially, once you have your sounds on, jump on top, jump to the middle, and listen... Just like that, you hear a little sound, and you've got one. Second one you gotta do is you come over here, you stand it. Now, like I said, you do have to listen for the audio cue. Stand on this uh, little broken little stair here. We'll listen. Got the second one just like that. Third location is on top of this little house here. Oh, jeez. I landed on those spikes. Did you guys see that? I landed face first on those wooden spikes. That doesn't sound very good. All right. Jump on the white, or jump on the white. Jump on the wood. Come to the very end, and once you're at... The very end, you hear it again. We're going for this one. You got to stand right across from the lady on the border of the grass. There we go. We found that one as well. And the last one apparently is right around here. Just like that, we got the last one. So it's right here. This one's a little bit tough to see, but I'm kind of lined up with the left side of the door frame, and I'm kind of lined up with this pedal here. So if you draw a straight line, boom, and boom, you kind of get to this location. Now all you gotta do is turn around, and this one is on top of the totem, waiting for you to pick up, and we are at 5 out of 8. Alright, so once you spawn in again for the next one, come to Hard Boiled City, and try to parkour up to the roof is what I was told. Fairly easy, honestly, if you guys wanna do this, it's super easy. All you gotta do is jump back and forth, you can wall jump basically up to the top with no problem. Oh man, I almost fell. Okay, that was a little bit awkward, but we climbed up right there. Jump on the green roof like that. You guys can see that it's green. Make your way over here. I'm watching the water towers. The easiest way to get up is to walk up this little ventilation area. Boom, a little parkour. You make it up to the top, and now we can teleport to the Festival of Eggs, which is a brand new area I've never been in, but apparently the uh, sixth fragment, what am I on? Six? Apparently it's in here. All right, so once you're in this map, you can go and actually grab one of the planes. Now, I can hop in the red one, and apparently you got to go and cruise through a few different things. Now, the first thing we're going to try to get through is in between the legs of this little tower here with the diving board. So I'm going to try to get up, and the controls are a little bit backwards. It's confusing. I'm not really sure, but make it through the first one. I uh, had my sound off. Apparently, you should have heard a sound. All right, we're going to try this other one to see because I'm pretty sure I'm just missing it. But we'll try to see if we hear the sound in this one here. 
Okay, so we did hear the sound on that one. We'll try to fly through the blimp because that's the other one. And then I got to figure out where to go inside the castle because obviously I'm tackling at a bit of a wrong spot. Let's see if we hear the sound on this one. It's possible. Okay, I was wrong. It's actually not the blimp that you got to go through. It's the pink gazebo. Come on, dude. Let me inside. The you got to go through the pink gazebo, though. Apparently, I was wrong. I apologize. Pink gazebo. Here we come. Let's listen. Hey, we made that one. Now we're looking for the last one. All we got to do is get through the castle. I just don't know which way to tackle it. I don't know, man. I am absolutely confused. Hopefully, please get it this time. Hey, we made it. Okay, so you do have to come from this side. Come from this side with the launch pad. Fly straight through and then turn left. And I believe you got to go downhill a little bit. But come from this side come from the launch pad side i was trying to go uh any other direction it didn't work oh man i was trying to make it so difficult i was trying to fly through the small windows and stuff when it was actually extremely easy and you guys can see i'm gonna hop out here but once you get all four of those now you can grab this thing and it's totally hold on I can't reach it though. Okay, never mind. We got it. That was fairly tough. We're done though. All right, so for the seventh one, I know, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting tired. I'm getting tired. Uh, but we are going to push this thing out. So once you spawn in, apparently you got to go to the back corner of the map where there's a massive house and you've got to eat a cupcake that shrinks you or something like that. It sounds pretty crazy. We'll check it out though. All right, you guys can see that if we keep running, we pass the section that we did. I believe it was the fifth or the fourth or whatever it is. We pass the maze, keep running back. And I can see it just back there. The maze is still back there. Keep running past the maze. Oh, and collect all of these, of course. Oh, look at this. Must be this short to enter. Okay, obviously, bit of a spoiler there. I didn't even know I had to go there. But you gotta go to this house. Apparently, you gotta grab something that makes you shrink. And we gotta go back to that section and uh, use that thing. Uh, I guess it's just a tiny door or something. All right, hold on. Let's see. There is an egg right there. We've got a crayon down here. I don't know if this is the right house, actually. Oh, no, it's right here. All right, so just down below that, uh, grow or shrink. Okay, so obviously you shrink. We could start running now. And do I progressively get smaller and smaller? Yes, I do, as well as become slower. So you are going to be a little bit slower when you get this done. So like I said, go to the place where I was at. Drop down below until you see the cupcakes. Shrink yourself down and then run back to this section right here all right so go ahead and come in this tiny tiny town right here once you're inside you can go and i believe you got to go to the left and there is a little bit of a stump right there go on the stump and dance slash e dance make sure we hear a sound but slash e dance just like that we heard the sound all right so once you've done that finish this thing off uh go outside Come to the right here, and I believe there's going to be a bit of a waterfall or something. You ought to talk to a man, and he should give us the seventh Dominus Fragment. Just like this, there's the waterfall, and the man should be right there. And There's no man, but there is a fragment regardless. We'll grab all these, and just like that, we're on number eight. All right, so next you come to the canals, and we got to look for an ice cream shop. Now, apparently, it's an extremely obvious ice cream shop. It's got stuff all over the place. Apparently, it's super super blue and you just honestly can't miss it whoop just like that i see a super super blue building we're gonna check that out so i think it's actually kind of towards the phone booth if you guys want to go check that out yes look at that all right so there it is right there like i said i don't really oh the phone booth is literally right beside it okay look at that it's right beside the phone booth can i go in the water i'm not even sure if i can go in the water in this game all right why would I not be able to go in the water? Come inside. All right. I totally got this, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are going to need to follow me a little bit. And uh, if I do have a map, I'll pop it on screen right now. But essentially, don't go inside it. You got to jump down, jump in this boat, and you need to follow this map. Now, I believe the map is telling me to go this way to start. You, can, you have to go through every single bridge or go underneath every bridge. But the trick is you can only go under each bridge once. So there's a certain map you got to take to go through every one. In the cycle, you can't go through the same one twice. I know I said that already. I'm just, I've got something down below that I'm trying to watch on my phone. So you hop in, we get going, come this way first, straight ahead. Well, like I said, follow me. Once you get to this first little section, turn right. Come all the way out here, and I believe there's another bridge to the right here. Turn right to go outside of this kind of weird island that we've never been on. That man literally tried to jump on top of my boat. Come around the back of this side right now. We got to go underneath this massive bridge right here. And once we do that, turn right again to come this way. Once we're met with another little cross section, we end this one instead of 
of going straight, we turn a hard left and start the inner loop. All right, so hard left, start the inner loop, trying to get it going here. Now you keep, uh oh, I missed one. I definitely missed one. I'm going through this one. Oh, that's out of the map. Or not following the map. I may have to do it again, but I'm pretty sure I actually got it. Hopefully, hopefully, okay, keep coming around this way. Another left. Now we're back where we started. So now we go behind the boat where, so that's where the boat literally, literally started right there. You come this way around the backside and we should finish the loop. Oh man, we literally crashed. I wasn't paying attention. Now don't say that we're stuck right now. I've got to redo the whole thing. Well. Ripperoni, pepperoni. I gotta redo the whole thing. I'm not gonna make you watch it. I'll come back once we're back at the same section that I died at. Also, no two ever's watching this. Try not to commentate while you're doing this like I am. Try to pay a little bit more attention to what you're doing because I did miss a bridge and crash. But once you get it, and I'll, I will try to find the map. I'll try to find it somewhere, pop it up on screen for you guys. But like I said, just follow my little directions here and you should get to the edge very, very easy. I mean, I guess I can collect all the eggs that I missed. That's the good, and I'm gonna miss them all again. And I missed them all again. All right, fork in the road. Which way do we go? We're gonna go left, hard left. Now we're on the inner loop halfway there. Now instead of going right and missing it, I am gonna go left, try to hit this bad boy. And now a hard right. Getting back to where we started, another hard right. Wait, did I? I went in the wrong section. I went in the wrong section. All right, we can't hit another bridge. I'm going to try to do a quick little turn. Quick little turn, quick little turn. Back on the gas. Hopefully that didn't actually kill us right there. But we didn't go under any other bridge. So we should still technically be good. Although I did make the wrong turn. Like I said, I'm trying to commentate. Trying to do all the stuff that you guys enjoy. It would just be awkward if I sat here in silence and tried to grind out this thing. Past the section that we got stuck at before. Keep it going, keep it going, and we should have one or two more bridges. Make sure you don't hit anything, please, please, please. And I believe you should end it right here. So, we ended the boat, I'm parking this bad boy right here, and apparently, at the very top of this thing, hold on, uh, let me get those quickly. We will jump on top of this, boom, boom. Apparently at the very top, yes, just like that, there is the fragment. Now, we do have to get up to the top, and... Boom! Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have all eight fragment pieces. Oh man, I am two hours into this video, starting to sweat. Well, I'm not starting to sweat. I've been sweating the whole time. But now we need to go to the Domus store and I'll show you guys exactly how to open it. I've never done this, so I'm extremely excited. So come to this, I don't even know what it's called again, Wonderland Grove. Try to make it to the top of the massive tree in the middle, and there's a teleport to the next area. Oh, I fell all the way down! Oh man! I'm getting tired. All right, this should be the section here. Once you, nope, maybe not. Hey, just like that. All right, so at the top of the tree, there is a section to Merlin Swamp. Jump in this thing. I think we just got to go to the other side of the map. All right, so I'm just running literally straight back from where we spawn. I kind of know where it is. All I do is I run towards the left wall. I know it's down a little bit, so I know it's gonna take me- Oh my- Whoa, that scared the crap out of me. That thing literally scared the crap out of me. I almost screamed. I was so close to just screaming out loud. Oh my god. Alright, so like I said, keep going back. I saw something in here, so we are going to grab this. Okay, bit of a shortcut. And look at now we're almost able to afford the umbrella, even though we're way past that section. Once you see these two swans here, you know you're good. Keep running to the edge, you see a bit of a cave, you come inside here, and all of a sudden, you're at the Dominus door. Alright, so once you guys are here, should look like mine. There's no colors on the door right now, and if I am correct, if you click these, yes, you can choose exactly what colors uh, go where. So now, I'm gonna set them up right now. You have to make sure, before you do anything, you have to make sure they're correct. If you do this wrong, you're going to lose everything you've done so far. And I'm going to be sad, so I'm going to make sure that they are the, the correct color. Top one, I believe, is red. Pink, yellow, dark blue, and green. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so you got to make sure, obviously, there's eight cubes, eight fragments. Make sure that they're all this color, and make sure that, obviously, there's no color. Do oh, man, that was close. Make sure you have orange on this side and yellow on this side. That was super close. Okay, I'm gonna try this right now. Hopefully, please, please, please use them all up. And it opened! Oh my god! The door opened! Oh, I am excited. Holy crap. I never thought I would get this far. We're gonna open the chest. We're gonna open the chest. Let's go. What do we get? We got the stained glass egg just like that. Oh, I am excited. 
Holy crap. All right, well, two hours into this video, I know I said I was going to get the Dominus and the Winx today, but I am going to save that for tomorrow's video. This video was only for the fragments. Now that I have all this stuff, I'm going to be doing the second challenge with apparently some parkour and some crazy stuff tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are still here, please, please subscribe to the channel. Drop a like, drop a comment. How easy was this for you? Did this tutorial help? Was there a better tutorial? Let me know what I can do better. And smash that bell notification if you guys are doing fantastic and you guys want to show some love to the channel. I appreciate all the support, ladies and gentlemen. I've been putting a ton of work and effort into the channel lately, and obviously it shows that you guys love it, so I'm going to keep it going. I'm never going to stop. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go eat some dinner now that it is 8.45 p.m. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Never fade away.